I'm a flex on my ex, flex on a hoe. You still be in my head, so I'ma let you know. I realize how much I want you when I What's going on, everybody? It's Super Nintendo, and welcome. Welcome back to One Night Showcase. Today's game we'll be showcasing this view is Astro Boy the Video Game. Based off of the 2009 film, which I thought wasn't so bad like me. You have to be, but it's actually pretty fun. Fun movie, I must say. So, I have, um, oh, jeez, my controller. I'm actually playing this on an emulator, and like I said, I'm going to be bringing some PS2 games to the channel. Starting off with this one, so. Let's see, we got new game and continue. So we're gonna do a new game. We're gonna do normal. So this is I beat the game on this file, now I'm gonna do this file. Yes, I would like to. Uh, yeah. So we got options. Cheat which we don't have any unlocked, but So we're gonna do we're gonna do story. So this is a movie tying game, so it ties in directly to the movie, so I am hoping that the cutscenes actually show clips from the movie, so I'm hoping that YouTube will not copyright me, so cross our fingers. This is the story of my friend Astro, an incredibly cool robot built by the brilliant scientist Dr. Tenma, in the likeness of his son Toby. One day, Dr. Tenma invited Toby along to see the unveiling of a new robot, the Peacekeeper, that was set to revolutionize Metro City's military. Dr. Elfin, Tenma's eccentric right-hand man, developed the power source for the Peacekeeper. Dubbed the Blue Core, it was extracted from a chunk of raw material from outer space. It consisted of nothing but pure, positive energy. Unfortunately, after extracting the blue energy, there remained a residual material that was purely negative energy. It was dubbed the Red Core. After hearing of the Red Corps' existence, the ever-ambitious and ruthless President Stone ordered Elephant to swap out the Peacekeeper's Blue Corps for its negative opposite. This was a grave mistake. The Peacekeeper turned on its human masters. Thinking quickly, Dr. Tenma was able to contain the Peacekeeper behind an emergency shield. Unfortunately, in the confusion, Toby was trapped with the Peacekeeper. Eventually, the Peacekeeper was subdued. But tragically, Toby was gone. In his grief, Dr. Tenma became obsessed with the idea of bringing back his son. He began working on the most sophisticated robot ever seen. He designed it to look just like Toby, instilled it with Toby's memories, and convinced Dr. Elfin to let him use the blue core for the robot's power source. After inserting the blue core into Toby's chest, Tenma activated his creation. In a joyous moment, father and son were reunited. Tenma and his new Toby returned home, in the hopes of resuming the life that was so abruptly interrupted. Alright, we are in the game, and as you can see, I tried my best to upscale it as best as I can, but this is the best I can do because my laptop is a bit piggy when it comes to frame rate. Well, when it comes to the um, when it comes to um, graphics, even though I have an H, I have an H, uh, I have an, I have an 1080p, it can run things at 1080p. So looks like we got a cheat, and that is costume swap. So if you don't know, in this game, Astro has three costumes. Now I'm gonna, now real quick, I'm gonna pause the game. And I'm gonna grab the um, the uh, thing real quick that has a cheat. But so this is how you do cheat. Cheat. So the cheat is R1 up, up, L1 up, and R1 down. So real quick, I'm going to input that. So real quick, I'm going to input that real, I'm going to input that one second. Okay, so that's R1 up, L1 up, R1 down. Or I had to do holding each button, so R1 up, L1 up, R1 down. Or, Hang on, it might take a few tries, so that nah, I went up, I went up there. There. So here we have Astro's original costume, where he has nothing but his underwear on and his boots, but uh, which doesn't look, which looks, look too bad. That's his classic look. And then if we do it again, 
one south do, which is what I'll do, so. Hang on. R1 up, R1 up, oh no. Or. It's a bit tricky to do this for me. Alright, hang on. R1 up, L1 up, R1 down. Oh no. R1 up, I went up, down R. R1 up, L1 up, down L1. R1, there you go. And this is the, oh. Um, Astro's Arena costume. Um, which is based off of the, um, moment in the movie to where he uh was in the arena fighting the robots if you um, remember but we're gonna go with his um default look in this game so we're gonna switch back again i actually took a picture of the cheat so i'm looking through it from my phone so so hang on I'm doing it incorrectly. R1 up, L1 up, down one. Or R1 up, L1 up, down one. There. And back to the default costume. So we're gonna keep this. And get this punching bag. And cutting time. Check out the haircut on that one. It looks like he's got horns. Horns! That's a good one. But what do you mean horns? It's gel. Whoa! It's like you can understand us. Don't be stupid. I can hear what you're saying. It's as if he can hear what we're saying. There's no way. He's a human. Come on. Let's go leak oil and some statues. Wait up. Wait up. I, I just want to know what's going on. What's happened to me? Whoa! Whoa. Ah! Ah! And now it's time. Astro learns the ability that he can fly. So, yeah. He can fly without all directions if you press X again he can uh, use um, his rocket boost to jet to um uh, jet across um the uh around the place so this is a um shoot 'em up section so this game is kinda like a um 2D beat 'em up with a shoot 'em up section. So we have a limit of how many supers we can use so right now we have ten which um I'm going to showcase one of those supers in a second. First up, Arm Cannon. Yeah, um, they don't exa Now, Arm Cannon doesn't really work like that in the movie. It's more of a... Like, let's see. Arm Cannon doesn't really work like that. It's more of a... Uh, gun light, more or less. Than a full-fledged laser beam, but... Uh, well, they had to change things up in order to make the game uh, playable. Uh. Now, another thing that Astro also has is. Yeah, the butt machine guns. The butt machine guns. Yep, the one of. Yeah, the. The butt machine guns, which I thought was neat. Oh wait. Oh, and also Astro has the ability to heal, and he and he can absorb any projectiles and turn them into health. Which is pretty handy, and it's se semi-crucial for, li for their parts of the game, but... The game also has hero difficulty, which if you saw on the main menu, I didn't choose because that's basically extremely hard.
Alright. Oh, whoa. There you go. Okay, that's fine. And that's it for the level. I think I'll just showcase like one more level after this and then make like a Can short you? video. Oh, Three I forgot to mute. Excuse me? Sir, I'm charging you with making an illegal left hand turn without signaling. I'll need to see your official registration. But. I, I, I don't have that. I, I'm just a little kid. Oh. The old. I'm just a little kid routine. Like, I haven't heard that one before. Come on. Serial numbers. Uh, s serial numbers? Manufacturer's papers. What do you mean? Warranty. What? All robots in Metro City need to be licensed. I'm a robot? Oh, I see. Take care of this. Now you sit tight till another officer comes to take you in, okay? So that was um an interesting cutscene. Alright, so So now we have actual combat. So first things first. Yep, here comes the part where it becomes a where the beam up part comes in. Oh, by the way, there's also um, upgrades hidden throughout each level, so for this level, there's one upgrade, I know exactly where it is, it's hidden at the end, and it's an upgrade for the laser. Even though there is a cheat in the game that gives you max stats, so if you're gonna do the um, superhero run, oh, oh no. So if you're gonna do the superhero run, I recommend just using that. Yeah, up, uh, up square is the um, finger laser. Uh oh, watch out. And plus, when you upgrade stuff, you can take out enemies quicker. Now, too, like every beat em up. Also, I need to heal up ASAP. Also, you can. Also, Astro has the ability to pick up enemies like this and throw them. And checkpoint, and then this is where he, they're going to teach us how to use um, the butt machine guns. Even though I already technically just showed you guys that, so there's no need. Ow. Not careful you can easily die easily so I think it's best to to keep to heal your health to heal yourself as much as you can. Alright, and then this is where they're gonna teach us about arm can oh no 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 I forgot to show you drill attack. There you go. I forgot to showcase drill attack. Okay. Uh oh. Oh lord. Oh no. Oh no. There you go. Yeah, the game is actually very reminiscent of the classic Astro Boy GBA games, but honestly, I think those games are way better than this. Both visually and gameplay speaking. Because I forgot to mention, the game looks a bit rough. 
because this game was only released on a PS on PS2 and Wii as well as on PSP on PSP and DS. The DS version is a bit different than this, and I died. There you go. That's not fun. Give me all that energy. Oh, also, I'm experiencing a couple of issues. Alright, guys, I'm back. I uh, did some tweaking in the graphics to make it like less laggy. It sort of did the trick, but not really, so I'll just take what I can get. Oh, that was not a work from attack. Oh, by the way, use your super wisely. Jeez. Yep. How about this? How about this? Oh, I got something. Give me energy. Hey, let me enter this. Oh, oh, no. Oh. Oh my goodness, that's a lot. Okay, machine guns. Oh, also, um, partially paralyzed. It keeps the enemies still so you can do some damage on them. When you use the butt cannons. Yeah, the drones that you need to take out the other bots might not be a challenge. Nope. Oh. Well, of course he shoots my bot. The drone that I was just about to shoot it at him. Now, I'll put him at the drone. We're nearing the end of the level here. And then when they do this, I'm gonna wrap this video up. It's because I I die. Jeez. Okay, kick flip. Oh, I missed. There you go. There you go. There you go. And the last and the secret upgrade is up. And the upgrade. There you go. Alright, upgrade. Yep. And that's the laser upgrade. There's also a secret to the first upgrade, but I decided to just show this one off. And 
Am I gonna, do I wanna showcase the um, end cutscene? Uh, you know what, I'll just, end, I'll just, I'll just do the outro here. So thank you guys so much for watching, please keep sharing my content. It's a little bit of departure from my old, of my uh, other content, but I wanted to do something different for a change. So other than that, thank you guys so much for watching, please share my content. Alright, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye.